This is my review of My Hero Academia. Okay, so it's the final episode of the final exam arc, and Deku and Bakugo kind of don't have a plan. So Bakugo wants to tackle All Might head on, whereas Deku just wants to run away and make it for the escape gate because they know that because he knows that fighting All Might is pretty much a, a death sentence. And the two get into an argument about who's right because. They, the two don't like each other because of complicated f reasons. Because they have complicated feelings for one another, which All Might states later in the episode. But but while they're arguing, the two the two are completely thrown off guard when All Might go, releases his full power and throws a punch that just levels an entire path to the escape gate. With, with a single punch, he's able to level an entire avenue of debris. And just create a just path of destruction in his wake. Because All Might points out that he's gone completely villain mode and has basically decided, who cares if I destroy the city? And he's so basically All Might as a villain is the most terrifying thing ever. Because he's able to just, just if he's able to do that to a fake city, imagine what he could do to a real one with a single punch. That 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 and even then he's wearing his weights, so he's not even fighting at full power. So who even knows what All Might is capable of without the weights on? If he's going all out and he's still not going at his full strength because of the weights, yet is still leaving just a wicked devastation, then imagine what he could do without the weights on. But and but he easily overpowers Bakugo and Deku, and the two and Bakugo admits that he would rather be defeated than work with a weakling like Deku. At which point Deku escape escapes the trap that All Might has trapped him in and punches him in the face telling him that he sh doesn't want to see Baku acting like that and that he better not lose. So the two so the two recede into a nearby alley and whereas they sort of create a compromise between the two and they realize that since All Might is too strong for them to face head on and realizing that running from him isn't really an option the two somehow work out a compromise where they hit him hard and fast and then run like hell. And it does work, at which point All Might notices the relationship between the two is kind of strained, as I stated earlier. And as they're about to make it to the exit gate, All Might finally catches up to him, pointing out that pointing out that while they are fast, they're not nearly fast enough to beat him. And the and he completely destroys the De Deku and Kachan's busters, which Bakugo had lent to Deku because Deku because their plan was to hit just hit Deku just to hit All Might with full force from both of their blasters and then run but now that they've been destroyed they can't really do that but then Bakugo reveals that he does indeed have a trump card that he had hoped he wouldn't have to use and actually does emit a full force blast like the one he uses with his busters but reveals that while it does have the same effectiveness it does come with a bit of risk and causes strain on his body that he really doesn't need meanwhile deck meanwhile deku is running for the exit but is gets paralyzed or and hit in the back by all might who uses a new hampshire smash to launch himself into deku sending him flying into a bus at which point at which point he easily finishes off bakugo as Bakugo tries to hold him off while Deku runs for the exit, stating that he'd rather destroy himself than lose to All Might. At which point Deku runs in and save, saves him by and by punching All Might in the face and running off with Deku with Kachan draped over his shoulders, and the two win the final exam, but are immediately committed to the nurse's office because now they are injured beyond repair, and All Might gets scolded for it because he kind of went a bit overboard. Oh well. But anyway, almost everybody passed their final exams now, which means they're going to do something to celebrate, I'm assuming, in the next episode. Because there's one episode left in the season, and then we're going to be making it into season three. Then we'll see how it goes with that. And also, I do need to review the movie at some point. I know where I'm going to review it, but I will let you guys know when I'm going to do that. But anyway, 
I, I did enjoy this little arc because it does because th this episode does show a turning point for Bakugo's character because now Bakugo is realizing what he just what he needs to do to become the number one hero realizing that what he needs that in order to surpass All Might he needs to train like hell because All Might basically is just radiating power and there's nothing that can really stop him when he goes all out and the only reason he really holds himself back is because is because of what I just said because if he doesn't hold himself pulled back he will, he will destroy an entire city with a single punch if he's not careful. So clearly, All Might. So clearly, Bakugo has a long way to go to surpass All Might, and clearly, and clearly, this has started the turning point for the two, finally, kind of repairing their damaged relationship at least somewhat. I mean, they've started to develop a mutual understanding to one another. They've at least started to work together together again, and are now starting to have normal conversations again, but. It's clear that that's not going to work for a long while because they, there's still some hostility there. So clearly they're going to work toward that eventually and eventually become friends again. I, I, I can't imagine that coming until much later in the series, but who knows? Because I, ha I certainly don't. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And if you guys didn't enjoy this episode, what did you guys think? Let's go discussion in the comment section down below. Or over on my Discord server, link in the description. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace! Um, which, where they realize that they can no longer travel by commercial planes. Because they know that a stand user will, will follow them on a commercial plane. And they have... No real way to deal with them because they don't want any more accidents to happen during due to a stand fight. So they they plan to chart out.